Hey everyone, it's Sugar Moon, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a My Little Pony OC on MS Paint. The first thing we're going to do is that we're going to either pick a base, or if you want to, you could also just draw one yourself. But today I'm just going to be using a base I found on DeviantArt. And in the description, I am going to leave a link to where you can find this base. So, yeah, let's get started. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go for the curve tool because that makes about the smoothest lines, but if you want, you could use the pencil or you could use the paintbrush. But I find the paintbrush, at least on my version of MS Paint, I have a Windows 8, that the paintbrush leaves all these messy little extra colored pixels around where you used it, so that can get annoying to clean, so I never, I never use that one. Um, the pencil, if you want, if it's easier for you to use the pencil, go right ahead, whatever makes you comfortable when you're drawing it. But to me, I really love the curve tool because it makes it very smooth, perfect lines every time. So, we can just get into this and like start on her name just like that. Or, we could sketch it out first, which is what I like to do. It gives me a little bit more leg room to be creative with things when I sketch it out first because when I sketch it out, I can like experiment with different styles and I, that's usually what works the best for me. But you don't have to if you don't want to. And now we can use the curve tool and there are four different sizes for it. You have the single line or pixel line, whatever you want to call it. It's the smallest of the four sizes. Then you have just the small size. It's a little bit bigger than the single lined and then we have the medium, I believe. Yeah, the medium sized one and then you have the thickest line. I think for this base we might need to, yeah, we're going to use the thickest line here and we're just going to get started. And an important thing to remember is that when you're using the curve tool to like line out your main outline, it, you don't have to be extremely careful and clean and precise with it just yet. You can save that for fixing up afterwards. Right now we're just gonna see how our final product will look and afterwards we're gonna clean up the lines just a little bit more And there, we pretty much have it done. Now all we have to do is clean up the lines, but first let's get rid of all these blue sketch marks. And there, there are two ways to do this. One, you can have your color number one as being whatever you sketched it with, which would be the dark blue right now. And uh, you take your eraser, color number two has to stay white, or whatever color your canvas is, whatever the background is of what the blue is on. And you're just gonna right click and it's gonna erase just the blue and no other colors. Now there are two ways of using this. You can one, use it for erasing, or two, you can use it for recoloring. Let's say I wanna change this line. We're gonna put color number one as red, color number two as something like a orange. You go over it and that also is gonna recolor things. It's a really good trick to have in mind and to use with these kind of things. And the second thing, the second trick I learned is, um, oh dear. See, this is what I was talking about, that it messed up. Um, but we'll fix that afterwards. That's gonna be a, yeah, that's a little easy fix here. Okay. 
now that we can go back to what I was talking about, <laughs> um, you take the dark blue color that we use for lines, color two, put it dark blue, color one, you can keep it white. It doesn't really matter what color one is, just color two has to be that blue. And we're just going to grab it, select it, move it over, and you have to make sure that it's on transparent selection, otherwise it won't work, but when it's on transparent selection, it will make the blue color the transparent, and it's going to, whatever color you put it on, it's going to change it to that. So it changed it to white in this case. And you can do the exact same trick as with the eraser tool. You want to change this and not have to go over it and fix all the lines if you have like really detailed lines that are each pixel you have to go and fix you don't have to you just gotta color to the color you're trying to change and we're gonna put like a area of green here or let's say it doesn't want to go because i messed up okay didn't realize that okay color to red this color doesn't have to be anything and you select it move it over and it's going to change the color for you and that's like a really fast way of doing a fix for something so now we got rid of our dark blue color we can move on to fixing the lines and then getting rid of all this stuff inside the main so it's just all white and you can go on to the coloring part which is the most fun part Here we go, we have our main. Now, we could leave it like this, or we could add also like more lines within it. Like this. Like you, sometimes I use smaller, a smaller line to make the ones inside. Cause I think that'll just look better and be easy to fix if you don't like it. This is where you can get like really creative with it and just have a blast making it. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. The next thing we have to do is we just have to color it in. That's about it and add the shines, the shading, whatever it is that you've got to add, the little cutie mark, any accessories. But I think I'm gonna save the shading, highlighting, cutie mark, accessories for another video. Um, and in my next video that I think I'm gonna record next, I'm gonna show you my tricks and secrets to GIMP. And if you haven't heard of GIMP, it's just a free download. I'm going to put the link to the website in the description because I it's going to be a lot easier just to add it than for me to try to remember the, the website myself. Um, so it's really good. Yeah, it's free. It's safe. It's fun to use. And I'm going to put that in the description. And I hope that you'll see it in my next video. Leave a suggestion if you want to see anything. If you want to know about anything more, um, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you want to save the pie from the trolls. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos and I hope you really enjoyed it. Bye!